Exactly. You're you're leveraging more and more every day, meaning you're doing more in less time with all these tools, not just ChatGPT. I mean, on this channel, we cover all kinds of AI tools that are coming along. This one, though, is brand new, just released yesterday. So we wanted to be the first to bring it to you here on YouTube. Welcome, everybody, to Making Money with AI. We have something brand new to share with you today. This is a new addition to ChatGPT. So we're going to do a little walkthrough. It's called Custom Instructions. I'll share my screen here. And what you want to do in order to enable this is you want to go over to Settings, which is down here, Settings and Beta. Click on that. And then click on Beta Features. And then open up Custom Instructions. It says Try a new feature that lets you share anything you'd like ChatGPT to consider across its responses. So toggle that on. And now you can go ahead and you can use custom instructions down here. So now what you can do is you can add in, it says set your custom instructions. So click on that and then you'll click on custom instructions over here. It says custom instructions let you share anything you'd like ChatGPT to consider in its response. Your instructions will be added to new conversations going forward and you can edit or delete them at any time. Note, this information will be used to improve model performance unless you've opted out. It may also be shared with the plugins you've enabled. Visit our help center to learn more. So click on OK. So what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? I'm going to have James give me the inputs here. So it asks you these two questions. What would, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? Like, where are you based? What do you do for work? What are your hobbies and interests? What subjects can you talk about for hours? What are some goals you have? And then it's also going to ask, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So the idea here, James, is we're giving it a lot more context so that it gives us better answers. And these look like they're like a default setting. So you can en enable it for new chats or disable it. And that way, uh, it is more customizing ChatGPT to you and your specific situation. I mean, this is perfect for me because, and it's perfect for everyone, really. Right. Because everyone's obviously different and people are doing things different ways. For me, one of the things that I use ChatGPT for all the time is to help me write my emails. So I'm forever going in and saying, please write this email uh, more conversational. Please get more hype on this. I want my headlines like this. And I don't always get it right. And there's always back and forth. If I can spend some time here and really think about what I want it to do for, for the majority of how I'm asking it instructions, it'd be great. So if I put in, I'm an internet marketer. I'm trying to sell products to people. No, literally, you know, me. Um, I like to talk to my audience in a conversational tone in terms of the how would you like chat GPT to respond. By putting all these things in, all of a sudden, when I give it a command that says, write me an email for this product. It's like, it's like, it's already ready. It knows how, how I want it to be. So chat GPT has the, the power to give me the output that I want. But the issue is, and, and an issue that a lot of people have is how do I get that out of chat GPT? How do I pull it out of it? Because chat GPT doesn't know me intrinsically. This seems to be a step forward with that. Uh, so I'm super stoked to be able to use this for me personally. Now, you may not be someone that is looking at it to send emails. You may be someone that is using this within your job. So this goes towards what something we've been saying for a long time on this channel, Dave, which is having customization for you wherever you are. So you might be someone that's working a nine to five. You might be somebody that's trying to fulfill services to people. You may be trying to answer questions a certain way, et cetera, et cetera. This is going down that line. And I really like what, what OpenAI is doing here. They're listening to their feedback. Feedback they had before was, oh, we can't access online. So they had the ability to have web browsing. Now they have plugins. And now you can customize this more and more to your to your user experience, I think is really, really cool. And we're going to see where this goes in the future because I think it's good, they're going to have more features like this. But this is a really good first step. And it solves a business need that I have. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's take a look at this again. What I did was I typed in, based on what you were saying, I'm an internet marketer who's trying to sell products to subscribers. I like to use a conversational tone in my emails. I don't want the emails to be too formal. So, and you could even put in information. You could copy and paste 
uh, for example, you could say here is an example of one of my emails. So it's so it learns to speak in your tone. You know, you could do that and then just pop that all in there. And then uh, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? It says, how formal or casual should ChatGPT be? How long or short should responses be? How do you want to be addressed? Should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or remain neutral? So you could pop all this in and then save it. And the bottom line is here, let me just do that. Save it here. I prefer short emails to long emails each. So it might be each email should have a strong call to action. Let's just leave it at that. I just want to put some stuff in there and then click save. And so now that is, is saved. It's available there so that you could start using it. Let me see. Uh, go back to custom instructions and they're right there. Now you could enable it for new chats or if you want to not use it, then you could disable it, right? Well, that's a good point because that that's a question I had was I don't necessarily want that setting all the time. Right. So I can just come in here, have that preloaded. And when it's time for me to write emails, I check that uh, enable or disable either way. Yep. Or, and then it, and then it's in that mode. So I like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. And then you can go ahead and just say, uh, you know, whatever, write me an email promoting the new AI disruptor course which shows people how to tap into 90 million buyers of digital products and services and you could you could just have it type it in your style right the the style that you already gave it and it goes ahead and does that and that's just one example obviously you could use this for so many things it doesn't have to be for emails it could be for any number of things it could be for sales copy you know, and then you could then train it. Like even in this one chat, remember, we can chat back and forth with ChatGPT. So we can say, uh, I don't like the use of this, but I do like this, you know, et cetera. Uh, but I think it did a pretty good job here, right? Yeah, I mean, for a first, and again, like you said, you customize it more and more and more. And so yep. um, it's just, we're going, that's what's so amazing about this, Dave. You know, unlike other areas of things in the world where where there aren't that many changes ai is changing so quickly and it's like Constantly. it's getting better all the time it's always getting better and it's like this is something that i wanted and i obviously am not the only person that wanted this because they put that in there so um they're listening they're listening to their yep. users and uh it's it's exciting exciting because yeah. it gets easier and easier every day exactly you're you're leveraging more and more every day meaning you're doing more in less time with all these tools, not just ChatGPT. I mean, on this channel, we cover all kinds of AI tools that are coming along. This one though is brand new, just released yesterday. So we wanted to be the first to bring it to you here on YouTube. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff and you like the idea of making money with AI, then be sure to subscribe to our free newsletter. And don't forget, we're doing giveaways uh, all the time on this channel. And also don't forget to check the description box below for your free AI newsletter as well as some amazing courses we put together on specific ways to make money with AI. These are the best ways possible right now for you to make money with AI. So check that out down below in the description box. And we'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.